Kayla Mueller, an American aid worker and ISIS hostage whose death was confirmed by her family this week, might have been paired with a male ISIS fighter during her captivity, U.S. intelligence and government officials said Wednesday. The officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, cited unspecified intelligence gleaned about the case. The U.S. intelligence official said it was unclear whether Mueller was coerced, sold or forced into the pairing. Intelligence suggests Mueller may have been given to an ISIS fighter as a sort of bride, one U.S. government official said. The National Security Council said it was breaking with protocol to make a statement about an American hostage. Reports that have been published by certain news outlets regarding Kayla's time in ISIS captivity are speculative and unproven at this time, spokeswoman Bernadette Meehan said. The U.S. government continues to analyze any information regarding Kayla's captivity but has not corroborated any of the multiple theories regarding the conditions throughout the duration of her captivity. Mueller's parents announced Tuesday that it had received confirmation that their daughter who was captured in northern Syria in 2013, had died. ISIS sent the family a private message over the weekend with information about her death, Meehan said Tuesday. The message included photos. One picture showed her wrapped in a burial shroud, but there was enough showing for the family and forensics examiners to identify her. A U.S. official briefed on the matter told CNN. The information did not confirm how Mueller died. The law enforcement source familiar with the case said on condition of anonymity. On Friday, ISIS said that Mueller, 26, of Arizona, had been killed in a building hit during a Jordanian airstrike on Iraq Kuwait, the militant's de facto capital in Syria. At the time, ISIS offered no proof to back up its claim, other than an image of a building in rubble. The photos in the private weekend message showed bruises on the face the New York Times reported, but it was unclear whether her injuries were consistent with being killed in the rubble of a flattened building, as ISIS claimed. Rescue attempts failed Mueller made it her life's work to help others. She was a 2009 graduate of Northern Arizona University and worked with humanitarian groups in northern India, Israel and Palestinian territories, the family spokeswoman said. She had a quiet, calming presence. She was a free spirit, always standing up for those who were suffering and wanting to be their voice. Kayla's calling was to help those who were suffering, whether in her home in Prescott, or on the other side of the world, her aunts, Lori Lyon and Terry Krippies, said Tuesday. In August 2013, Mueller fell into the hands of hostage takers in Aleppo, Syria, her family said, after leaving the Doctors Without Borders hospital she was visiting. Mueller's letter gives glimpse into time in captivity her family said ISIS contacted them in May with proof that she was alive. The militants eventually said they would kill her if the family didn't pay nearly $7 million by August 13, according to a source close to the family. The number of rescue and negotiation attempts to free Mueller failed, officials said. Representative Paul Gozar, our Arizona told CNN's Jay Tapper that he and his staffers tried to facilitate Mueller's release on several occasions. Negotiations between the family and ISIS at one point, he said, included discussion about whether Mueller could be swapped for Dr. Afia Siddiqui, a prisoner being held in Texas who was convicted for conspiring with the enemy.